I realized right after I made um, the warm and cold front video that I didn't give you the symbols for warm and cold front. So let's start off with that. Um, the warm front is going to be a line or maybe a curved line with half circles. And the side or the direction that the half circles are pointing is the direction that the front will be moving. So in this case, it would be moving to the right in, th in that direction there. A cold front is very similar. Um, again, a line or a straight line or maybe even a curved line. Um, but the symbol is going to be triangles. And I think every science teacher in the country uh, will um, tell their students to think of icicles. And the triangles um, represent icicles and to remind students that it's a cold front. And again, the direction that the triangles are facing is the direction that the front is moving. So again, this front would be moving in the direction to the right. All right, so moving on, let me clear this. Um, let's talk about a stationary, stationary front. And as you can probably tell by the name, a stationary front is where a cold air mass and a warm air mass um, are not necessarily moving. They're kind of in one place because one is not overtaking the other. Um, so we'll have a, a cold air mass and um, well, I guess we can draw it like this. I don't know. <laughs> a, a warm air mass um, and um, the temperature difference between this cold and this warm is not that great and because of that uh, the, 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 the gradient between the two isn't, isn't significant that we have these two air masses kind of stuck and yes we still may have some precipitation um, you know it might have some very light rains and light winds uh, but for the most part, um, you know, you don't really expect anything very severe with a stationary front. All right, now the other type of front is called an occluded front, and this one's kind of interesting. Um, what we have here is a a cold air mass that's so strong that it completely overtakes warm air mass. So we have a cold air mass, and it, it pushes its way. So we have cold, and we have another cold. And it, it was so strong that it just kind of shoved its way underneath this warm air mass. So we have this warm air mass kind of that kind of got you know boosted up and is kind of riding along um, this this mass of cold air, and so what we end up with is uh, you know we as you can imagine maybe that we have this warm air mass just sitting on top of this cold air mass, so we're going to have a lot of um, rapid condensation, so we'll have heavy rains. Um, sometimes severe weather and also high winds, very strong winds. Okay, and I did it again. Um, I'll remember this time the occluded front is going to have, um, because it has a, a, a cold front with it and a warm front with it, and they're both going in the same direction, so you have both symbols on the same side of the line. So we have um, the semicircles for the warm front, the um, icicles for the cold front, and it's alternating and showing the direction that it will travel. Um, let me, because I forgot again to say what a stationary front, a stationary front would be, and you could probably guess that you know if we have a cold front going this way. And opposing it is a warm front going the opposite way, you would get a symbol such as that where we have a warm front on one side 
and a cold front on the other side. So there you go. Um, stationary front and then occluded front. Okay.